Hello guys, it's Poco here and welcome to a special skills tutorial. As you can see, we are going to be going over three moves I use a lot when I'm playing. Now I do want to say this is not a particular skill move tutorial. I won't be showing you how to do all skill moves. What I want to show is three tricks more or less that will be enough for you to dominate an attack and score a lot of goals. Before we get in, make sure to slap that subscribe button and like the video if you want to see more of this kind of content. I will make loads of more videos like this in the future, like a video on finesse dribbling or an in-depth attacking tutorial and a defensive tutorial. And obviously, we have our manager and player reviews too. So make sure you follow the channel if you want to see this kind of stuff or let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Alright, so let's move to the first skill which is a manual body feint. Now this isn't a skill move realistically, it's more or less a dribbling thing. You move to one side and then instantly cut into the other direction. It's really effective for me in certain situations. To do this, what you want to do is have your player near the ball, so leave all the controls and let's say I want to exit in that direction. So what I will do is slightly move the joystick in this direction and then quickly move the joystick to the opposite direction and hold the sprint button this time and it kind of looks like that. It's a good skill to use in certain 1v1 scenarios. You will also have to try this in the training ground with your players. You need to learn how to execute it properly. With smaller players like Robertson or Messi for example, it's slightly harder to do this skill. Although I will say, if you can get the timing right with these players, just use a fake shot instead. Also I'm sure some of you will be thinking, why won't you use the normal body frame which is a skill move in the game or just sprint to a side. Well, let's just say you have a lot more control over this skill than the others, as you can time it much better as you will see in some of the examples I've shown. And a big benefit of the skill is if your back is towards the opponent like this opportunity right here, you can execute the skill which you won't be able to do with this normal dribbling or a normal body frame which is really good. Now moving on to the next skill which is the fake shot. The fake shot actually has two variations let's just say. One is a normal fake shot and to do this you press the shoot button or you double tap if you are using advanced controls and flick the joystick into a direction and you exit to that direction. Or the other variation is the fake shot stop where you press shoot and just tap the joystick area. The players are instantly stopped and you can now dribble onto the other direction. Both of these in my opinion are great to use in certain scenarios. It is useful when you can cut into a different direction instantly and it should throw your defenders off a little. And with the fake shot stop, you can stop instantly and then look where you can go or pass which is good for holding position. Smaller players with good dribbling like Joao Felix or Messi or Ansu Fati can do this skill much faster and I recommend you to do this skill with these players more. You should try to be closer to the defender while doing this and never fake shot onto his path. Basically, try to fake shot onto a side of the defender or if he is coming at an angle, try to fake shot towards his back. Now moving on to the last skill and you all probably know about this skill already, that is the double touch. But you can also apply the same rules for the Neymar or Sancho ball roll, which is a skill only both of these players can do as far as I know. So first of all you want to make sure that your player has this double touch skill as you can see on Kieta right here. To do this skill it is pretty simple, tap the sprint button and flick the joystick in front of the player. Same move for the Neymar skill here. Now, one rule with this skill is don't do it when the defender is standing exactly in front of you. The defender has to be approaching you at a certain angle with this skill. Like you can see with Kieta right here. It is pretty straightforward skill. It will send your opponent flying past you. He has no chance to defend this. It's almost like a cheat code. And yeah, that concludes the tutorial. These are the skills I personally use the most in my matches. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. And hopefully I see you in the next video. Goodbye.